And hello, everybody, and welcome back to Final Fantasy XII, the Zodiac Age on the PlayStation 4. I'm your host, Nicodemus Kane. We are back just outside of the Tomb of Wraithwall. Uh, I went back in so that I could fill in the gaps of the map, and when I did, Vaughn leveled up, sure enough. So now, uh, Bothier is, is uh, he's leaving the party. So we are exiting. Um, oh, wait, before I go, I actually came in here to the license boards. And uh, whenever I came in here, they said uh, they've added two new licenses. Uh, one of them is for the uh, the Belias, the um, whatever the hell you want to call it, Esper that we just got. And this leads you to the second license board. So I was like, oh, okay, and that's kind of interesting. So Belias, since it is Ash's, uh, since it's Ash's thing... Why don't we just go ahead and give it to her? Why not? Because, you know, this is her whole thing. She came here to pick this bad boy up. So let's just go ahead and give Belias to her. Only one character can obtain a license to this. Obtain Belias? Yes. So, the character can now summon espers under the mist command in the battle menu. Cool. So, of course, um, since she is the one that got it, she gets to have the seconds board, you will be unable to return to the license menu until you confirm your new board. I proceed anyways. Um, if I can find my paper, because I do have my paper, wherever the hell it went, that had, here we go. I know it was up here somewhere. This is the one that has all of the, uh, yes, there it is. All of the, uh, jobs that I was wanting everybody to be. So, since I had Ash being Red Battle Mage, her second job was going to be Archer. Yes. So, we're going to make Archer. Why not? Warriors who rain death on their foes from afar. Weapons, bows, techniques, poach. And that's pretty much it. So, choose this license board. Yes. So there we go. She is a red battle mage slash archer, and she cannot pick any more. So I don't think she can pick any more. No, she can't pick any more. So she's got the two. So there you go. Ash now has two jobs. So how does this work exactly? How do I go back to the other... Because see, she's still got a lot of stuff, but all this little stuff hasn't opened up yet. Oh, I could toggle between the boards. Oh, I gotcha. Okay. Well, that's pretty cool. Alright. And then there's, like I said, there's just a whole bunch of other shit that needs to be opened up. That's pretty neat. That's, that's alright. Okay, so I will worry about all that stuff later. Um, actually, I wonder if, uh, because... I was gonna say because she's able to do that, if she can, uh, she can have different stuff now. But apparently not. All right. Anyway, so we're gonna go do this. Um, we. Oh shit! <laughs> Actually, I was trying to pull the uh, pull the map up, and the thing popped up. I was like, "Oh my god, I broke it!" These assholes find us everywhere we go. Ah, crap. <laughs> We're back. Such a tremendous honor to again be graced with your presence, Majesty. You left us with such great dispatch upon our last encounter that I must confess I had begun to worry that we may have given your majesty some cause for offense. I should have taken his head off when I had chance. Such a heartfelt display of remorse. Now what is it you want? I want you to give me the Nethersite. The Nethersite? That is a base imitation. We seek Wraithwald's legacy, the ancient relics of the Dynast King. They affected Nethersite. Did you not tell them, Captain Azalus? What? <laughs> Majesty, he speaks of the Dawn Shard, 
That is the Nethersite. Well, I already took the power of the Dawn Shard, so... Are you mad, Vosler? If we are to save Dalmasco, we must accept the truth. I will fight this profitless battle no more. <sighs> Captain Azalus has struck a wise bargain. In return for the Dawn Shard, the Empire will permit Lady Ash to reclaim her throne. And the kingdom of Dalmasco will be restored. What a Think son of a bitch. An entire kingdom for a stone, you must admit, is more than a fair exchange. <laughs> and when all is said and done, your master will have another pet. Lady Ash, let us take him for the people of Delmasca. Your majesty wallows in indecision on peril of their heads. And his shall be the first to fall. Well, at least your sword is to the point. Hey. To think the relics of the Dynast King were deified Nethysite, Dr. Sid will be beside himself. What did you say? Captain Azalus, take them to Shiva. Shiva? They should have leave to return to Ravanasta soon. So what are we gonna do now? Break off another ship? Or break out of another ship? Break off another ship, do you hear me? I want you to assess its power. Did our orders not specify that we return the stone for testing? I will not chance returning with a stone that is yet unproven. Right. See, so yeah, totally. We gotta break out of another ship. Wonderful. It's like the Leviathan all over again. Only colder because of Shiva. They named it Shiva because the uh, the air conditioning broke and it's frozen on the inside. <laughs> Just saying. The eighth fleet of the Arcadian Imperial Army light cruiser class airship Shiva. Okay. Said it once, I'll say it again. When we return to Dalmasca, we can announce that you are alive and well. I will then continue our negotiations with the Empire. I believe Lars is the key. He'll listen to us. We should trust him. Who are you, Vossler, to talk of us? A son of Dalmasca. Burn! But yeah, I said it once, I'll say it again. That's no Shiva I've ever seen. <laughs> Our equipment here is limited, so we'll be using the ship's drive to make our assessment. Once we've connected the stone, the reaction should be easily measured. Methods do not interest me, only results. <sighs> what? Uh. Friend? Such heat! The mist is burning! <gasps> 6,800, 6,900, 7,000. This must be Dear Factor Nethersite. The count still climbs. Ah, uh, we found it at last. True Dear Factor Nethersite. The power of the Dynast King in my hands. <laughs> Blood alone does not an emperor make, vain. What is this? Something's wrong. Uh huh. What is it? <laughs> you stand. What do? Hold her down. Oh shit! Oh, Fran's gone crazy. That time of the month. Oh! What's wrong with her? I always knew Fran didn't take well to being tied up. <laughs> I just never knew how much. What? How about you? I like Fran's idea. Let's get out of here. Well, while Balthier casually takes his. No uh, father. Takes his cuffs Sky off. Pirates. The future of Dalmasca will not be stolen. <sighs> oh shit. Why do this, Bosh? Do we have to fight him? This struggle is futile. You must know where it leads. I do know. All too well. Oh god, we do have to fight him. Come on, man. I don't want to fight you. Yeah. 
seriously don't want to fight you, buddy. Pal, friend. You you uh you helped us out. Let's get this other asshole out of here. There we go. And, and then see, here's the thing again. I want to use the uh, I want to use the quickenings here, but I mean we're just about ready to kill him. There's no reason for me to kill him. We are so overpowered. We, seriously, because I've leveled the way that I leveled. I mean we are so overpowered for this stuff. That's the way I like it, though. I mean, let's be honest. If you're going to go through Final Fantasy, you might as well be overpowered. You're dead, bitch. Engine power falling rapidly. It's negative. Impossible. Engine room to the bridge. Report. What are they doing down there? Happened. Somebody gonna die. Power. Disengage it at once. I want that number three. What you guys get for fucking with shit? Uh huh. Ash, let's go. All I have done. I've ever thought of Delmasca first. I know you do. I would ne'er gainsay your loyalty. Look on what my haste has wrought. Did I act too quick? Or was your return too late? I can serve her no more. You must take up charge. Okay, well, now it's time to go, because one of these ships is about ready to explode. Uh-huh, that's what you get, you some bitch. Now, how this is affecting this ship, I don't know, because I thought we were on Shiva, not the ship that we were just on. Oh, shit. It imploded. Oh, the humanity! Oh, the humanity! What a world! What a world! This might get a little dicey! We missed. It manifests now. Is that what you call this? Oh, shit. Now, from what I know of the mist, it's no good. Holy crap. What's that? Pure evil. You're not going back into the mist. <laughs> the dreadnought nope. Leviathan is sunk. The eighth fleet of the Arcadian Imperial Army lost. As word of the events in the yacht sounded throughout the Empire, quit I, Bujerba, citing sudden malady. My true motive. To bring the various counter-imperial forces scattered throughout Ivalis together in unified resistance. By this time, Lady Ash had made her return to Rabanaster. She had not, however, made known her presence. Rather, she was content with keeping both her own whereabouts and those of the Don Shard concealed. Had she chosen then to go before her people, my error in announcing her suicide would be known to the great detriment of my efforts to assemble a resistance. In such circumstance as the Lady Ash then found herself, even were she to proclaim Dalmasca restored, it would serve only to invite the Empire's wrath. Though Arcadia had lost her Eighth Fleet, she remained, as ever, a military power with which to be reckoned. Okay. That's um, it's a nice little fill-in for us. It doesn't explain a whole lot, but it helps. Okay, we get it. There's flying cars. 
pod. It's the fifth element. My god. See, even the buildings look like Star Destroyers. <laughs> this is a super Star Destroyer. Oh, shit. The Rosarian Empire assembles a vast host under guise of martial exercises. It is our belief they wait for the proper pretext, the sooner to make their strike against Arcadia. The loss of Leviathan and her fleet at such a time comes as a most grievous blow. Were Rosaria to invade, the battle would be hard fought. Had Lord Vane not deployed the fleet so capriciously, we would not now find ourselves in such perilous circumstance. Lord Vane shall be made to answer for his actions. It is the will of the Senate. Excellency, though he be your son, justice must be served. A convenient thing, justice. And so I must now make a choice between my throne and my son. A most lamentable situation lamentable. for us lamentable? all. Oh, for Lord Vane, perhaps. Yet surely Lord Lausa will make for a fine emperor. Lausa so adores his brother, and he is yet young. But he will not remain young forever. Already he busies himself unraveling Lord Vane's tangled skein. Lord Larsa has found his role to play and pursues it with some enthusiasm. Ah, yes. And who would set him at such tasks? What matter? Lord Vane himself once saw his elder brothers brought to like justice, did he not? At your Excellency's behest, as I recall. <laughs> you may put yourself at ease, Lord Gramis. So long as the Senate watches over her, Arcadia's well-being will ever be ensured. By your will, I shall bid Vane return to Arcades. Sure. That's what I, I feel like the, uh, the actual Senate in Washington, D.C., that's what I feel like they do. That's the kind of evil, twisted nonsense they do. Just a feeling. <laughs> Just a hunch. He's got purple balls. Or one purple ball. He's Hitler. <laughs> For fuck's sakes. Now, Vaughn, how in the holy hell can you see this kid? Uh, I don't even know. It make no damn sense to me. God, 15 years later, as the cutscene still rolls on. So, it was the Dawn Shard that brought down the Imperial fleet. You know your stuff. Destructive power of such force. I've seen it once before. Lady Ash, you know of what I speak. Nabudis. The capital of old Nabradia, Lord Rassler's fatherland. At the time of the invasion, a division of Imperials entered the city. There was a mighty explosion. Friend and foe died alike. Something was there. One of the Dynast King's relics. The Midlight Shard was in Nabradia. More Nethersite. Well, no wonder they invaded. That ridiculous war. The trap at the treaty signing. All this because Vane wanted power. Don't they always? He must not be allowed to claim the Nethesite. The Empire must never hold it. Oh, they already do. The Dusk Shard, most likely the Midlight Shard too. Besides, can't they manufact Nethesite now? Very well. Then the path set before us is clear. We'll use the Dawn Shard to fight them. We? 
Dalmasca does not forget kindness, nor ill deed done. With sword in hand, she aids her allies. Sword in hand, she lays to rest her foes. This Nethus I hold must be my sword. I will avenge those who have died. And the Empire will know remorse. Again, we... Did... You even know how to use it? I... The Gareth may know. The Gareth people live by the old ways. Matricide lore is a part of their culture. They may hear it. The cry of the Nethersite's power. Whispers of the stone's menace. Dangerous though it be, what we need now is power. Should we declare Dalmasca free without the means to defend our claim, the Empire would crush us. You must take me to meet with the Gareth. They live beyond Osman Plain. Not exactly close. Compensation, is that what you want? Straight to the point, aren't we? I like that. Compensation? How about the ring? This? Isn't there something else? No one's forcing you. All theory, you dirty bastard. <laughs> what a dirty bastard. I'll give it back to you as soon as I find something more valuable. What do you mean, something more valuable? Hard to say. I'll know when I find it. <laughs> what is it you want, Vaughn? What are you looking for? Me? What am I looking for? I... I guess... Well, I... Uh, you know... <sighs> no, I don't know. I have no clue. I don't know what Vaughn's whole deal in this whole thing is. Where are we at? We're about 23, 22 minutes in. The Gareth fought it to dwell in Kirwan. So they do. We'll need to head south, past the Giza Plains. It is the rains now in Giza. The Waris will be swollen with uh -oh. the deluge. Passage may be difficult. But those same waters may also lay open new routes to us. Regardless, we must go south, yes? First things first. You're eager to be on your way, I know, but we should see that we're prepared before setting out. I made my resolve two years ago. I swore to overcome any hardship I may face. Man cannot live by resolve alone, Princess. And of course, we're back in good old Rabbit Aster. So, um, where exactly are we? Oh, we're in a part of the city that I haven't explored. Oh, shit. Where's the, um... Safe crystals are way over there. So we're going to run through this. Uh, I, I will come back. We will do a whole episode next episode where we will just, uh... We'll come back through here and we'll do some, uh... We'll do some shopping. We'll do some shopping. We'll have some fun. Where am I going now? I just need to get all the way down to those damn crystals. I cannot believe those crystals are all the way down at the bottom. You know, I mean, you, you figured they would put these crystals where you could get to them a little easier. It'd be a little bit more accessible, but no. Oh my god. But yes, totally. We will, uh... We will come back through here next episode. I will... I will come back to that spot if I can remember. Uh, of course, you know, you know how I do is... If, uh, if I say that I'm going to come back and do a thing, it doesn't totally mean that I'm going to come directly back to that point and do a thing. But yes, we will come back to that point. We will go all the way down. We'll talk to some people. We'll do some shopping. We'll do some other stuff. And um, we'll, it'll be a nice, relaxing episode. Uh, I know we, we had... Uh, we had two episodes inside the Tomb of Wraith Wall, and of course the one... This one was just full of friggin' talking and nonsense. So, we will go ahead and stop it here. That way, 
That's to the Easter Sand. That's to the Giza Plains. All right. I don't. I don't need to level. I mean, look, we are. We're level 35, 34, and we our license boards are just filled to the brim. Can I look at both of hers on the outside or just the one? I mean, if I, like, change it to Archer and then back out, does it... Oh, yeah, okay, there we go. Well, that's pretty neat. All right. That just... It sucks you can't change it from here. It'd, it'd be pretty nice to, uh... To be able just to change it from there. But anyways, yes, we will, um... I don't need a level. <laughs> I really don't need a level. But in the next episode, we will go, uh... We'll go shop a trip. That's what we'll do. So anyways, thank you guys very much for coming around and watching this. This has been Final Fantasy twelve. The Zodiac Age on the PlayStation 4. I've been Nigga Names Kane. I'm enjoying this. I really am. Um, it's. I forgot all this story was in here. I really did. Uh, it's been, what, 10, 12 years since I played this game the first time through. So it's it's cool to see all the story come back around. It, um, I was thinking it, it may be a little weird for somebody watching this because it's week to week to week. But... Uh, and it, I would prefer it. I would, I would honestly prefer it if I was playing this like three times a week, like I was doing with some of the other playthroughs. But I think that if you start it from the beginning and go all the way through, I think it's going to be pretty cool. I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying. Anyways, guys, thank you very much for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe, or don't. Um, it honestly doesn't matter. But I absolutely appreciate it, for everyone that has. Other than that, though. I wish you guys well in all your future endeavors, and I hope that the world lasts for you. God bless. Take care. Save often. And get your money bags out. We're going shopping next time. Oh, yeah. See you guys later.